This week we kicked off the second academic year on the Master's Programme on Sustainable Cities, where we had an introduction by Norman Foster and co-director Ken Larson. My seminar was a series of journeys, for example, the mobility journey. We do the same with housing, with food production, with urban modeling and simulation. And then we had a series of masterclasses and engagements where the students got to know one another. My seminar was about measuring the embodied carbon of a building across its lifespan. So it's about how do we envision the city as an interconnected whole. Explaining the role of social housing and the very special social housing model of Vienna. If my city sort of decision making was really centered on health as an outcome, how would that shape my thinking? How would that shape my decisions? In this seminar, what I do is proposing discrete interventions and projects that can help us moving towards sustainable cities. We introduced 21 students from across the globe, working from C40, the United Nations, Freetown Mayoral Council. This week, the students were also introduced to the City Lab and the tools that are available there. The importance of cross-sector, multidisciplinary collaboration. So this year, we're working on the continent of Africa and three amazing pilot cities, namely Cape Town, Freetown and Malia and we've got the fortunate opportunity to work with them, the administrative bodies that govern them. If there is one place where we can see so many different challenges combined, it is in African cities. By working together and by working contextually with the cities, they can come up with some really interesting solutions. I expect to see innovative ways of thinking. I would expect them to adopt a holistic approach. This is an incredible group of students and I do think that they will be able to find some really interesting solutions. So I'm excited to see what comes out of this. 